right after you watch this video, you have to go to Spotify or wherever you listen to your streaming music. Look up Kill Rob Bailey, which is me. I have a new metal song releasing with Alex the Terrible. Defend your yeah. truth! Yeah, yeah. So it's called Defend Your Truth. It is probably out now. It comes out at noon today. I'm gonna upload this video a little before noon. But go check it out. This is like a huge moment in my life. I'm not gonna celebrate, um, but it's still a huge moment. This is my celebration. All right, so I've been dieting, uh, I've been running a lot, but I'm not really happy with where I'm at. Not really happy with where I'm at, and a lot of it comes down to uh, me, personally, Rob Bailey, being sort of an asshole, and just not really being able to control myself, being mentally not the strongest, I think, when it comes down to food. I, I've been going out to eat, I'm meeting with a lot of clients or other business owners. So I've decided to do a 84 hour fast. I know it's a very odd number, but essentially I get to the 72 hours. And if I don't eat that night, then I can eat breakfast the next morning. So that's my goal. I don't really know too much about fasting. I know that I need to take in electrolytes and salt. Um, I also plan on drinking coffee, but watered down. So. As of right now, I'm like 14 hours into my fast, and you guys can go on a little journey with me. Uh, I'm about to weigh in, see how much I weigh. I will be holding the camera, so I'm gonna be a couple pounds heavier. I started my diet three weeks ago at 278 pounds. So I was 278, so we'll see what I am now. Uh, then I'm gonna get a shower and then uh, just start going through my day. I'll keep you guys updated on how I feel. Let's go. One of my favorite things about fasting is it reminds my brain that sometimes when I'm hungry, I'm actually just thirsty. I have a weird relationship with water. I don't drink much of it, but one of the benefits I've known from fasting is whenever I get really hungry, I just drink some of this, and then I'm less hungry. And then when I don't fast, I forget that. Tip one of the day. All right, there's a bunch of stuff on the docket today. One of the things that I need to do is we are starting back up the Chips and Caviar podcast. So we have to get the podcast room set up to now do remote podcasts. So come with me. All right, so all the podcasts I've ever done have not been remote. They've all been right here in front of this wall, but now we're organizing the room differently, where we have our overhead light, we have our backlight. I think that's all we're gonna use. We're gonna be pretty dramatic. And we have our camera set up. Well, I'll be sitting here. We have our mic, camera, and then essentially I'll be talking to Mr. Aaron Singerman right there. Nice and simple. But now, I don't know how a lot of this stuff works. So I gotta figure out how to plug this into that and do all. All right, so this isn't on. Podcast room is set up. I'm not the best with technology, so it was a little much for me. Luckily, I own every piece of technology ever made, but it's just scattered all over the warehouse, so it gave me a really good reason to get organized. And it's also uh, 12.30 right now. So 12.30 is normally my first big meal. Um, so I'm starting to get hungry, but I think as long as I keep moving, I'm gonna be all right. I'm pretty happy with the podcast setup. It's gonna be cropped a little bit tighter. I went with a nice overhead light, uh, has a diffuser on it, and I want these two bright lights to sort of highlight for me from the back. So I know that I should have some kind of light in the wall, but I think the flares from either camera that are gonna sort of be thrown in and then backlight me and give me this like nice lit up silhouette, and then this light are gonna be good. The only thing I'm contemplating doing is putting a bounce there. But that's all nerd talk, who cares about that? Let's get out of here. Well, I just lifted weights, and then I had a meeting right after it, and I got put on my ass. I don't know what hour we're on. Do some math. So we're on 21 hours. We're on 21 hours. I had a pretty intense leg session possibly more intense than I should have done. 
whatever. And now I'm just feeling tired, but I just got in a message from Dana. Just one of those messages that we have an issue with the horse. So I'm going there to see what's going on with Oscar. Defend your truth! All right, I'm at my house. I'm just about at 24 hours of fasting. I feel all right. I got really tired after I trained, but I feel all right now. I'm obviously at my house. This is my normal routine. I, I come home, I eat on the couch. I normally fall asleep right after I eat, but I'm also home very early right now. It's eight o'clock. I'm normally home like 9, 30, 10 at night. So I'm home early. So I am very, very hungry. I made some peppermint tea. I have legal contracts to go over. So I have six legal contracts to go over. I'm gonna sit around and read those. I feel really sharp right now. Like I feel really with it. That tired spell didn't last long. Obviously being able to see food and things like that and smell Dana's food is making me hungry. But as long as I like ignore it, I'm doing all right. 24 hours down, no big deal. Let's keep going, boy. So a normal night, what I do is I come home. I get home around 10 o'clock. Dana has food ready for me. I eat the food right here, right here. Dana sits right there on our love sack. And then we, uh, or at least I just fall asleep watching TV. And then normally around midnight, I stumble awake and I wake up at 5 a.m. and I leave the house at 5.30. Tonight's completely different because I came home early because we thought there was a problem with Oscar, which there wasn't. So instead, I started to panic because I was home. So I cleaned both of the garages, which is a giant undertaking. And now I feel awake but tired. I just feel like clear and fine. I had the urge to eat some stuff and then it, it went away. So I've completed my 24 hours, a little over 24 hours right now. I think I'm at 25. I'm gonna watch a little bit of TV. And then I'm going to go to sleep probably early. See how I feel in the morning. That is day one. I'm excited to see my weight tomorrow morning. I'm excited to see how much I weigh. Uh, also a very busy day tomorrow of shooting, which we'll see how I feel doing all that stuff. All right, one last plug on the end of this video for uh, my song, Defend Your Truth, coming out today. It is exactly what I want to make. It's exactly the music that I want to make. It's saying the words that I want to say. It has the message, um, life, liberty, and fucking happiness. Life, liberty, and fucking happiness. You know? Um, anyway, it, the song means a lot to me. I'm blessed to have Alex on it. And, uh, man, it's everything I want, man. When I lift weights, I, I like repetitive music. I like things that just fucking keep you in it. I think that oftentimes what I do is I wait for big moments in songs. And I'm like, ooh, this is the breakdown. This is where I want to do my lift or whatever. So a lot of the songs that I try to make is I try to keep you in that flow state the whole entire time for the song. So uh, go lift to it, go live your life to it, whatever you wanna do. I would love to hear your feedback below. It's not out now, it should be out very, very soon. Comes out at noon today, bye guys. Life,